Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Tenny Como. I'm going to do one cast today. I have boated up here below the dam. They're running that half unit of water. And I've got a kind of a variety of jigs that I'm wanting to throw. I'm going to start out with a sculpin 32nd ounce jig with a sculpin head, two pound line. I'm fishing right in here is that big flat. So it's uh, oh, three or four foot deep here and then it drops off into deeper water down here. About a hundred yards or so. So I'm throwing a little bit lighter jig first. Then I'll go to a 16th ounce when it gets deeper. I have the trolling motor set on three, about three and a half, so I'm holding the boat. So the boat's going a little slower. No fish on the first cast. It's going a little slower than the current, which I kind of want that. I want the jig kind of swinging down below me, throwing it out to the side and kind of working it. Saw John Sappington up here fishing with a couple of guys, fly fishing. They both had fish on as I drifted by, so they're biting a little bit, maybe. Maybe. Just about down in the deeper water now, so I'm gonna go to a sixteenth here pretty quick. one. Still pretty shallow though. A couple bites. It's like they're going to be running that half unit all day again today and probably running a little bit more later in the afternoon like they've have been. But it's supposed to it's supposed to get kind of warm today and then cool off, get some rain. Missed another one. Pretty day though. This area down here below the big flat is called the big hole. Okay, one more cast with my sculpin. 30 second ounce jig. Water is, slows down quite a bit when it drops off into the steeper water. But it's still moving pretty good up here. Oh, 
There's one. We are up, I am up in the trophy area. I guess it's way me and Jackson. So you can't use anything that's soft or smells up here. It's a little rainbow. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little heavier jig. I'm gonna throw a sculpin of ginger with brown head. And this is four pound line. some big fish up here, especially some a lot of big browns. A little bigger rainbow. Water here is probably about six or seven foot deep. It's a combination of gravel and chunk rock down in this area. It's um, the bedrock because of the bedrock in here. It doesn't really hold that gravel in the current very well. It kind of gets washed down. So. This area holds a lot of fish though. Oh, come on, Phil. I don't like missing fish. There's a lot of sculpins that live down there in this in the chunk rock. Scuds midges. The scuds really like gravel more than they do this chunk of rock. Um, the midges, they don't care. They like mud, actually. They hit. They hatch from just about anything, anywhere. So you have a lot of sculpins down in this area where there's bigger rocks because they typically like to live under rocks and where they can kind of be hid. Uh. There are not many boats up here. A um, couple of rental boats. Um, Dave Welch just went up by himself, so I'm sure he's got a morning off. He's probably looking for a big brown or something. And then John Sappington just went by. He's up here. So not even many guides are out today, which is kind of surprising.
I'm kind of bouncing it off the bottom. See one of the drift boats launched and they're down below me. River Run Outfitters is a fly shop, Stan and Carolyn, and they run drift boats. Typically people fly fish out of the drift boats. I'm going to slow my Pull the motor down just a little bit, drift a little faster. I have a white jig on, a white 16th ounce jig on. I'm thinking about throwing that here. They're not hitting the sculpting very well. Let's try throwing that white. It's a 16th ounce, but I have it on a two pound line. I need to move away from the bank a little bit. Yeah, I can see my jig out there. running towards me. I just saw my jig just flying through the water to the other, my left. I thought, never felt him. I might have him snagged. He's, uh, I don't feel a head shake and he's pulling pretty hard. sure I've got him in the tail or belly or something. Let's see if I can get him off pretty quick. Oh, he just came off. That's a bit of a pretty big fish because uh, he was pulling pretty hard. See, turn it down.
one swiped at it and missed it. A few more casts here and I'm going to call it a day on one cast. We may see a change in generation pattern once uh, once the uh, weather changes. Might see a little bit. Might see a little bit more no generation. We'll see. If there's no generation, you can't bring a boat up here. It's just way too shallow. Besides, you can come up here and wade. And most places up here, you can wade all the way across the lake. It's that shallow. It's much better to come up and wade than take a boat out when the water's off. Saw a big fish. My jig disappeared, so I assume it was in his mouth. Just didn't get him. here is about seven eight foot deep really deepens out in here and then it gets a little bit more shallow down by the boat ramp not much this is where a lot of big fish will hold you got a little deeper water with the water running like this Throw the 16th ounce real quick. Sculpin ginger. Oh, 
always think I'm going to do really good up here because I know there's a lot of fish. I know there's a lot of big fish. And I get up here and it kind of kicks my butt, so it's a little frustrating. But I am fishing the way I like to fish, which is not always the best way to fish up here. I think the way, best way to fish up here is like fish like John Seppington. Because he's up there. This client's got another fish on. They're fishing a fly rod and indicators. They're fishing a midge or a beaded scud or something under a float. And it's a fun way to fish. It's a very it's a very good way to fish if you want to catch fish. It's just not my cup of tea. I mean, I, I'll do it, especially if I just want to catch fish, but throwing a jig, I don't know, I just feel like I have a lot better chance of catching a bigger fish. And I'm doing something all the time. Now where it starts shallowing out, so I gotta work a little faster. he's done. He's after a dry or something. Okay, one more cast. Kind of like this spot. It's um, Little hole here below this tree. I always like throwing there. Oh, oh. Saw several fish down there looking at my jig. They didn't hit it. One more cast right below that tree. Okay, starting to catch more fish. Thanks for watching. We'll try to get tomorrow.